Howdy, 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 YouTube. Dude RV here. Today, I find myself at Dangerfield State Park. Dude RV here. Today, I find myself at Dangerfield State Park, way out here in the East Texas Piney Woods. A lot of road noise, so hey, I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, and I got you. And I got you. So let's go take a tour of Dangerfield State Park. Let's ride. It'll get quieter as we get away from the road. Thanks to all these big old pine trees. Dangerfield State Park. It's about five miles outside of Dangerfield, Texas. Dangerfield, Texas was named after a military officer who was killed in a battle with Native Americans sometime around 1820. And Dangerfield State Park was constructed by the CCC during the New Deal era. And it is a beautiful little park. Now the park was built in a time when RVs were not very big and were not real popular. And therefore, all of the original roads and camping loops are, well, we'll just say snug. Snug is a good word. I've been very happy that there's not hardly any road noise at all. And that is due in large part, as I mentioned to earlier, the trees. There's so many trees out here in East Texas. All right. It is March 17th, 2019. Oh, it's just such a beautiful day. So we're going to cruise down here through the Big Pine Loop. Um, there's several, there's two camping loops down here. We'll, we'll catch them both and then we'll head on down the road. The first one we're going to visit is a new addition. And it is for the bigger RVs. These are all pull-throughs. Right on the lake. And you can look over here and you can see the lake. Had I only known when I was making my reservation that this was the place to be, this is where we would be. But because no one had ever done a tour of Dangerfield State Park. Not that I could find anyway. I couldn't find any tours 
All I had to go by was the park map and a couple of pictures. So now you know. This is going back down into some of the original campsites built by the CCC. There are hiking, lots of hiking trails out here. There's actually a six mile trail that loops all the way around the lake. I don't know how navigable it is going to be on Little Red. I think it's probably going to be too muddy from what the person at the gate told me. See, all these sites are quite small. Excellent for your smaller trailers, pop-up trailers. Leon would fit over here real well. And then there are a few like that. Ms. V would go in there. But I'm not going to move. We're going to stay right where we are. Now this would be, in my opinion, the best campsite to have. Right there. No neighbors. Right on the water. And that is site number 17. So if you can get into site number 17 at Dangerfield State Park, you will be a very, very happy camper. This park is a lot like Tyler. Of course, that's another East Texas Piney Wood Park with its own lake. This is one I would definitely come back to. Unlike some that I've been to. The roads out here are pretty dang smooth with a couple of exceptions. some battery sucking hills. Unfortunately the park's not very big so I can get the get it all done on one battery no problem. And there's the cabins up here. Another cabin over here and then down there is Bass Lodge which uh, is kind of a bunkhouse cabin well that's my understanding anyway I haven't been to 
Bass Lodge. There's someone there. The park store and swim area. We'll see if we can get a better look at the swim area. It's a really pretty little lake. And you can rent watercraft, canoes and kayaks, paddle boats. Squirrel. All right, we're gonna scoot on down here. Now, if you watch the experiential video as that I do, I've already been down here once. But there's a lot of folks that just have to stumble across my FPV video, so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna take a look at the fishing pier and the boat dock. So here is the fishing pier, really wide. I'm pretty sure this is a no wake lake. They do sell some fishing bait up in the store. I think it's mainly worms. There's the canoes and kayaks. With, as with all Texas state parks, you do not have to have a fishing license to fish here. And you can check out tackle at the camp store. And there's the swim area and the day use beach. That is not ADA friendly. Now there is handicap here, but you can't get down to the water. The only place you can get down to the water is over by the uh, fishing pier. If you want to see what the inside of the uh, compound there looks like, the store pavilion, we'll go on over to the FP or the experiential video because I went and checked that out too. Got a great view of the lake. Have a jute box up there. battery second hill this is the steepest hill in the park it's a pardon the back and forth I hope it doesn't make you seasick we are going to go over here and take a look at the primitive campsite for those of you who like to sleep in tents, if you like to sleep in tents without any electricity or water, doing it rough style, well here you go. Almost done. We are coming to the end of the road. I think they must be touring the park as well. We've already seen them twice before. All right. 
This is the Mountain View camping area. If you're going to be in Mountain View, you want to be on the downside of the hill. Park Coast. I think that's our park ranger's residence. That pretty well concludes our run through Dangerfield State Park. Here we are, back at number Miss V, RV. And those are always so much fun. I sure enjoy y'all riding along with me. Hey, if you enjoyed that run through Dangerfield State Park, hit that thumbs up button and share me on your social media platforms. If this is your first time to Dude RV and you thought it was kind of cool, click on that subscribe button down there and the bell, somewhere down there, click on that bell so you'll never miss another episode of Dude RV. I'm on a mission, I'm gonna document every Texas state park there is. All right, so if you enjoyed our run through Dangerfield State Park, Come back for more. Click on that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. Thanks, thanks for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?